Hey friends, Ash here with Gent Sense, and today I'm going over with you guys five really inexpensive men's fragrances that were at one time or another hyped as being really awesome, cheap pickups. So each one of these fragrances at one point in time has been really hyped up either on YouTube or the fragrance community and forums, stuff like that, as being awesome, inexpensive pickups. Some of these are better for fall and winter. Some are better for spring and summer. And each one of these you can pick up for under $30 for a 100 milliliter size bottle or 75 milliliter if it doesn't come in 100. With that intro out of the way, let's jump into this and check out some cheap men's fragrances. As I said, each one of these is a really popular cheap fragrance or at one time was a really cheap popular fragrance. So depending on how long you've been around the fragrance community, you might have heard of one of these or three of these or all five of these. First one is from Jacques Bogart. And this is a house I haven't talked about too much on this channel. This one is Bogart Pour Homme. And this fragrance you can pick up for about $15 for a 100 milliliter size bottle. That is super cheap. The bottle actually feels really nice in your hand. It doesn't look like a super cheap bottle. The atomizer is built right into the top right here. I'll show you guys a close up of the bottle here. So there it is, Bogart Pour Homme. Atomizer is right there. And it's actually a really good atomizer. I'll go ahead and waste a spray for you guys. Go ahead and hit this tester strip. There you go. As you can see, you can really control how much you spray out and it sprays out a huge blast of fragrance. This one actually gets compared to a lot of different tobacco fragrances out there, though it's not the same as any of them. It gets compared to Armani Code Profumo, gets compared to Emporio Armani Stronger With You, gets compared sometimes to Mugler Pure Havan, and sometimes to Michael Kors for men. Now, each one of those in their own right is a great fragrance, and most of those are very, very popular as well. This one, Bogart Porome does not smell the same as any of those, but I get where people are coming from. This has cedar, tonka, patchouli, uh, lavender, orange blossom, and oak moss as some of the notes in the fragrance. Obviously, it gives off a little bit of a tobacco vibe, which you're gonna get in the comparisons to Michael Kors and Pure Havan. Those fragrances are essentially fruity, sweet tobacco fragrances. And then uh, obviously Code Profumo, heavy on the Tonka. You would think looking at this bottle, Bogart Pour Homme, and just the house Jacques Bogart, that this fragrance would be maybe an old man's fragrance, right? Uh, a fragrance that smells like it's straight out of the 80s, especially maybe when you see oak moss in here, but it's not. It's actually a sweet fragrance. Uh, it's got a, a good amount of, of density to it, but not in an overly cloying way. And like I said before, it does almost come across like there's a little bit of tobacco in there. A sweet tobacco, like you would get from the fragrances I mentioned before, Michael Kors and uh, Pure Havan. And Bogart Pour Homme, actually, really good performance as well. So this one has a lot going for it. It is surprisingly good. And when you spray it on, it smells like it should cost more than $15 as well. If this were packaged up by, uh, I guess, a more well-known designer brand, Dolce & Gabbana, Versace, Armani, something like that, this would be going for 35, 40 bucks at discounters. $15, it's a steal. Really solid fragrance for fall and winter time, daytime or nighttime. Bogart Pour Ohm, 15 bucks, solid. Next up is a fragrance that's best for spring and summer. This is actually the most expensive fragrance on this list. This one for a 100 milliliter size bottle, gonna run you about 28 bucks. So it's just under 30. Though if you do find a 50 milliliter bottle, you can get it for a bit less than that. It's from Lacoste. It's from their L1212 line, and it's L1212 White or L1212 Blanc. This comes from the L1212 line, which has lots of different fragrances in it, each one based off a different color, and they all use the same bottle style. This one though, White, is the one that's been talked about the most online, on YouTube, and in forums. The L1212 line in general is very affordable at discounters. You can pick up just about all of them for under 30 bucks other than maybe some of the newer releases in the line. My personal favorite, probably yellow. I think that yellow is really nice, very fresh. I caught it 
and uh, a great summertime fragrance, but this one is the one that gets the most love. So there's a quick look at the bottle. I mean, there's not too much going on. It's just a plain white bottle with the Lacoste crocodile up in the corner, and it has sort of a, a ribbed texture on the side, nothing going on the back, and just a sticker on the bottom. And I'll go ahead and waste the spray for you guys here as well. There we go. So this one is very much a sporty fragrance. Fragrance you could wear to the gym, fragrance you would wear casually, fragrance you'd wear in high heat. And it's a very versatile fragrance as well. It's one of those very inoffensive fragrances. Pretty much everybody's gonna like it. There's suede and cardamom in here, which you may not expect in a summertime fragrance. Grapefruit in the opening gives you a nice citrus pop, sweet, fresh, about what you would expect. And then there's some florals in here as well as it dries down. So you're gonna get ylang ylang and tuberose in here. The florals though, don't come across at all feminine. This one is ultimately a very clean, fresh, refreshing kind of scent. Though it does have maybe a little more depth than you would typically get from a Lacoste type fragrance, a Lacoste warm weather type fragrance. A lot of times those kind of scents are gonna be really thin, not really have much density to them. But this one with the floral notes, a little bit of spice in there, the suede and uh, woods in the dry down does give it a, a nice bit of depth. This one is the first one that I bought in the Lacoste line, and it is because people talked about it the most. Ultimately, like I said, yellow was my favorite because yellow had a little more focus on the citrus. It was, I guess, a little fresher, a little bit brighter than white, even though white is the one that got the most hype. Either way, that one's really solid. I've worn that a bunch, worn it to the office, worn it out casually. It has always done well for me, and, uh, Lacoste White is the second one on this list. Gonna take us to number three, and I actually have a backup bottle of this one that I will never end up using, so we'll do a giveaway for that at the end of the video. So if you're interested in a giveaway for this one, make sure you stick around for that. This one got the most hype on this list, and for an obvious reason. When I show it to you, you will probably know the reason why, and you may already know the fragrance that it is. It's this one, Mont Blanc. Individual. You can pick this up for about 23 bucks for this size right here, 75 milliliters. And that is the size that I'll give away at the end of the video here. This one has a whole bunch of notes to it. And the reason this one got hyped so much is from Jeremy Fragrance. This is one of the first fragrances that he really got behind and pushed and said that, you know, he loved that it got him lots of compliments and people went wild and bought this one up. And here's a quick look at the bottle. It is really thin, as you can see right there. Got the Mont Blanc emblem on top. Little sticker on the bottom. Raspberry, vanilla, cinnamon, lavender, even dark chocolate. Some of the notes in this fragrance. And uh, this one, Jeremy compared to a raspberry scented dryer sheet. So like a dryer sheet that you would throw into the dryer as you're drying your clothes, obviously, with a bit of a raspberry scent profile to it. There it is, Mont Blanc Individuel. This one also smells similar to Original Santal by Creed, which is obviously much, much more expensive. If you smell Individuel side by side with Original Santal by Creed, you will see what people are talking about. There's a definite similarity there. Just like with Mugler Cologne, being similar to Original Vetiver by Creed. So really, if you like Original Santal, but you don't like the price tag of the Creed, pick this one up. It will do just about as well. Obviously, the Creed is gonna be a little more smooth, not quite as uh, in your face, not quite as cloying, but price-wise, this one's a better buy. It is sweet, especially with that raspberry. So if you don't like your men's fragrances to be on the sweeter side of things, maybe this one won't be for you. But there are a lot of interesting nuances going on with this fragrance as well. Like I mentioned before, it even has dark chocolate in there. So you've got sweetness, but at the same time, this bit of depth, bit of density to it, and the performance on that one is good as well. Next up, let's talk about Perry Ellis fragrance. Actually, the next two that we're gonna talk about are Perry Ellis fragrances. Perry Ellis as a fragrance house does not get a lot of love. It doesn't really get talked about all that much. Uh, their newest one is this one, Perry Ellis America, and I think the bottle is pretty cool, but even this one, what he really seems to care all that much about. It's just Perry Ellis doesn't have a lot of name cachet as far as designer fragrances go. But these next two were hyped at different points and to an extent still are hyped 
now and again. First one we're gonna talk about is this one, Perry Ellis 360 Red. And this bottle gets made fun of sometimes by the style of bottle that this is, the way that it looks. You can use your imagination on that. I don't think I need to talk about it too much more, but I'll show you guys. So there it is, Perry Ellis 360 Red. Yeah. 360 Red is part of the 360 line of fragrances, which actually uh, encompasses quite a few different fragrances. There's Perry Ellis uh, 360 Green, Black, Blue, there's the original 360, there is Red, there's Reserve. There are a few different fragrances, or a number of different fragrances, I should say, in the 360 line, but this is the one that got talked about the most, and this is the one that got the most hype. This one you can pick up for about $15. So it is super cheap, just like the Jacques Bogart fragrance. And I'll go ahead and waste a couple of sprays for you guys here. Atomizer on this one, not great. It's got a bunch of citrus in here, lime, bergamot, orange. It's got cinnamon, it's got lavender. And this actually gets compared to the best selling mint fragrance of all time, Giorgio Armani Aqua de Joe. For the longest time, people would say, basically, you take Aqua de Joe, you add some cinnamon spice, you get 360 red. So for a lot of people, that's how they're gonna break this down. Now, does this smell exactly like Aqua de Joe with cinnamon? Not really, but do I get where people are coming from when I smell it? Yeah, for sure. It's very fresh. It's great for spring, great for summer, great for daytime wear. Extremely versatile, extremely easy to wear, and smells like it should cost more than $15. But because it is a Perry Ellis fragrance and a cheap looking bottle, $15 is what it goes for. This is a potential compliment beast, just like Aqua de Joe. And while again, it is not the exact same as Aqua de Joe, it will fulfill the same needs, the same uses. And this is a fragrance like many fragrances that I ended up giving to my brother and repurchased for myself just to have in the collection. It was one that he thought smelled really nice, one that he could get a lot of use out of, so I gave it to him and then bought myself another one. And for a long time, you could find this at TJ Maxx and Ross's all across America. Uh, you don't see them there quite as much anymore. It used to be almost every time I went in there, they had at least one of these, or if not red, one of the other ones from the 360 line. But here lately, you don't see them quite as much. And this fragrance, much like the fragrance it gets compared to, Aqua de Joe, is going to be great for a wide range of ages. And uh, it's just, like I said before, hyper versatile. And we're gonna go from that Perry Ellis to the next Perry Ellis that got a lot of hype for being very, very inexpensive and being a little bit similar to a fragrance that costs a lot more than what you'll pay to pick this one up. The fragrance is this one, Perry Ellis M. And yeah, it's kind of a weird looking bottle, but the fragrance itself, actually really good. As far as the quality goes, I think that this one is higher than this one. Perry Ellis M, when I spray this one on, does smell like it's got a little more oomph to it. Let me show you guys the bottle here, which I think is pretty bad. So here it is, Perry Ellis M, as you can see right there. And then it's got this sort of brown, <laughs> I don't know, uh, oval on the other side. And then the cap has kind of a curve to it. And this is a plastic cap that does slide very snugly into place, but it's kind of just awkward. It doesn't really, click in there, you just kind of force it down. Yeah, it just feels really cheap in your hand. The cap, not good. And I'll go ahead and waste some sprays for you guys here. Atomizer is pretty much like 360 red. It's not great. There we go, just kind of a weak little puff. Now, one thing I need to mention is that this is Perry Ellis M. There's also a fragrance, Perry Ellis, I think, Men, and it's a very similar bottle, actually it's the exact same bottle, just the coloration is a little bit different. So if you're looking for this one, make sure that you buy Perry Ellis M, just M. That's the one I'm talking about, not Perry Ellis Men. Because those two fragrances are completely different. So if you're expecting this and you get the other one, you might be disappointed. This one, you can pick up for about $12 for a tester. Now, if you're looking for a full presentation, it's gonna run you a little bit more. And as of this video, 
it was sold out on Fragrance Net, and there were only four or five bottles on Fragrance X, though they do get this back in stock pretty regularly. So if you're looking for this one, make sure you do not overpay. If you're paying more than 20 bucks, you're overpaying. It's got cinnamon, vanilla, tonka, star anise, and cashmere wood. So they were ahead of the curve a little bit with the cashmere wood here. This one gets compared to Chanel Allure Homme. Just the original Allure Homme. Not Allure Homme Sport, not O Extreme, just Allure Homme. And it smells really, really nice. You're getting creamy sweetness from the vanilla and the tonka mixing together. A good hint of sweet cinnamon spice in here as well. And uh, then you've got a little bit of the star anise lending a little bit of extra kick in there as this one dries down. Obviously, Chanel Allure Ohm is going to be on the expensive side as far as designer fragrances go because Chanel is a brand that you're really not going to see discounted much at all. You might be able to find it here or there for like 10, 15 bucks under retail, but that's about it. Chanel keeps a really tight grip on their distribution. Actually, uh, Notino, also known as Beauty Spin, uh, in case you're unaware, they were a large discounter in America for a long time. They were about as big as Fragrance Net. They were selling discounted Chanel products on their website in the US, and uh, Chanel brought a lawsuit against them and effectively got Notino slash Beauty Spin killed in the US. So that's one of the reasons you're not gonna see Chanel discounted many places because they will come after you and sue the crap out of you. That means a lot of guys are gonna be priced out of Chanel fragrances, especially younger guys, guys without a whole lot of extra spending money. So fragrances like this one, Perry LSM, that you can pick up for under 20 bucks, that's gonna give you a very similar scent profile to a Chanel fragrance, especially a very well-known one like Allure Homme, are gonna be in high demand, or at least you would think they would be. And that's why Perry LSM got a good amount of hype. People saying, hey, if you don't have the money for Chanel or Laura Ohm, but you like the way it smells, you like that spice and sweetness and everything, great for fall, great for uh, winter time, and potentially for spring as well, then check out Perry LSM. And that's what a lot of people did. They bought this and they liked it. And uh, I picked it up for those same reasons. I actually saw this bottle in my local Ross, the only time I ever saw Perry LSM there, and I picked it up and I did not regret it a bit. And that one is gonna wrap up this video of five different very cheap men's fragrances that have been hyped at one time or another. Okay, as far as the giveaway for the Mont Blanc Individuel, it does not come with the box or anything, it's just the bottle, but it's just about full. Uh, if you wanna be entered in the giveaway, just leave a comment below that says you do want to be entered in the giveaway, and I guess let me know which of these five hyped cheapies you think is best. So, Individuel, M, Bogart Pour Homme 360 Red or Lacoste White. And then one week from today, I'll pick a winner. I'll post it on the community tab on YouTube like always. So if you're subscribed, you should see that. And then the winner can get in touch with me and give me your address and I'll ship this off to you. So good luck. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. If you've smelled any of these fragrances, let me know what you think about them in the comments below. As always, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there. See you guys again tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.